Hello and welcome to Decoding the New Economy. Today I'm joined by Andrew Cunningham to talk about his startup Zafo. Well, Andrew, pleased to meet you. Great to meet you as well, Paul. Thank you. So, to kick off, um, what is Zafo? Zafo is a video based startup. Uh, we're in Melbourne, we produce content, we've got a, a, an app out there at store, we've got an Android app coming soon. But primarily, we're related you know, to video content providers. So. We create um, live video and also you can create a 30 or 60 second video that goes through and add on to your other social networks, Facebook, Twitter and so forth. Right, so a video based social network basically? Yeah, basically. Um, so it's, it's got everything in it, follow people, friend people and the, the whole idea is to make it really easy to create live content and send that out so you can be active like we are now and you can click live on your phone and that will go out through your existing network so people can see in real time, be it a business meeting or a friend's birthday or, or anything, just a casual get together. But how did the idea come about? Uh, it came about actually a couple of years ago just because there were solutions around but we felt that they were a bit clunky, uh, a bit awkward and we really wanted to create something that was two or three clicks easy for the younger generation who have a much shorter attention span to be able to get things out there. So it was actually a frustration right. um, of not having the right tools available to us. I got married um, and I used this product to live broadcast my wedding out to friends all over you know, the world. And in yep. America I had a friend who was watching it in the early hours said she was bawling her eyes out because watching it live there's an emotional attachment that sure. isn't there from watching it on YouTube the next day. Yeah. So with that, um, you were saying to me before we started the interview that uh, you're on the Rackspace program now. Well, how did yeah, we are. That? Um, we applied to it and uh, they sort of saw what we're, we're doing and uh, enjoyed the way that we create content and with a new app that we've just launched as well. And um, so we're, we're on that program now through Rackspace and we, we saw some clear benefits of actually moving from the existing Amazon stack um, through to, to Rackspace, so really enjoying that, and that's quite new to us. Yeah, and uh, you're on the Rackspace US program as well. Yeah, correct, that's uh, through the US, so um, right. yeah, really enjoying that. It is quite new to us, but um, you know, they've been a, a great company, and you know, there's a handful of really good providers in the world of which they're one, and we love how open and easy they are to deal with. Yeah. Now you're a classic startup. You're uh, family's friends and pools at the moment. Uh, yeah, we how are. How are you finding that journey? Oh, look, some weeks and months it's hard. Uh, mm. Others, it's it's not. You know, it's it's ups and downs really. It's a challenge, mm. definitely. But um, you know, we're we're up for it. And you know, every month at the end of the month, you look at the account. Sometimes you go, oh, gee, it's going to be hard. <laughs> but you know, you do you get there. And, yeah. Um, we're really hoping that we can push things out and really move on and become a concern. You know, from Melbourne, Australia, there's mm. a lot of competition. Yeah. Over in the US, I was there in March, and um, it's it's really great to be able to sort of fly the Aussie flag. Yeah. Now, one of the problems with uh, business in Australia is that uh, getting that staff that um, are motivated to work in startup conditions. How do you find that? Yeah, it's it's difficult, and you know, to be entirely fair, we, we have gone through a couple of staff members mm -hmm. and um, trying to find the right people. It's, it's a difficult thing because people give you a resume and it, it all ticks the boxes, but sure. then when you actually get them in, you need to make sure they can work with the team, you need to make mm -hmm. sure that um, you know, if things aren't working, they're able to just sort of roll up their sleeves and say, okay, that, that didn't work, that sucked, but let's do it this way. Yep. And uh, we have a really good team at the moment, there's mm -hmm. only a handful of us, but um, really good guys who can work through things, challenges, ups and downs, you know, sometimes they call me names and I call them names, but <laughs> sure. you know, at the end of the day we can all have a beer at five o'clock at night. Yeah, so where do you see um, where do you see yourself going in five years time? Yeah, uh, look as I said we've just also recently introduced a new um, product called Rewind, which is RWND and um, that's really about where we're going next. You know, we've, we've had this app Zafo and we've learned a whole lot about the way that people use content, the way yeah. that people use technology. And Rewind is about moving into the future. You know, we, we look at Generation Y has a 12 second attention span, Generation right. Z an eight second attention span. Rewind, you create a quick clip, it goes two seconds forward, two seconds backwards, and it's just a lot of fun. So you can watch six of these videos in 30 seconds, put it away, put it in your pocket, and move on to the next thing. So we're sort of creating that as a platform. It's a really mm. quick, easy social platform to, you know, use for people out there. And that's uh, on iOS and we're building that on Android. So that's sort of where the future's going for us at the moment. So Andrew, um, to finish up, um, what sort of advice would you give to somebody who's looking at starting out a start on the startup journey, if you like? Well, don't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to start that's... with. 
Um, look, if you're going to do it, make sure that you really think through what your concept is. Make sure that it's not just a product or you know a platform that is important to you, but actually make sure you think about the market. You know, ask 15 of your friends, ask your family, see what they think of it, and then build a, an MVP, minimum minimum viable product. Um, but one of the things you need to make sure of is if you do, do build an MVP, there was a time where you could build it as sort of really ugly and functional. Mm. That's not the case anymore. We've got so much choice with technology. Make sure that you actually get a designer to help you right. um, with that because the, the user interface needs to be pretty. It needs to be you know, gorgeous to, to look mm. really nice. Um, but you also need to make sure that the experience of where you go and how you go, if it's yep. technology based, is spot on. So. Having that is probably one of the most crucial things because mm. having a solution is great, but actually being able to use it, whether it's in technology or, or otherwise, I think having that experience, having that really nice interface is, is really important. Yeah, so get that outside help in early. Yeah, get yeah. that outside help in and make sure you crunch the numbers. So mm. once you actually start looking at how you're doing it, whether it's technology or otherwise, ask people, see what they're using, see if they like it because, you know, invariably your family members are, go are going to say, that's awesome, that's sure. wonderful, you know, everything you do is great. But actually have a look and see if they're using it, see what they're enjoying, see yeah. what they're liking. Mm. Um, it's not just enough to, to be, you know, my mother loves me. Um, <laughs> because that's yeah. not going to get, you yeah. know, the, the next stage of funding potentially in order to, to get venture capital or, or angel interest, which is what yeah. it's about when you're starting the journey. Get something out there and then get some help to move to the next stage. So, Andrew, uh, I said it was going to be the last question before, but um, instead this will be the last question. So, you're obviously on the lookout for more funding at the moment. Yeah, we are. To date, we're sort of invested by um, friends, fools and family, I guess. Yep. Um, but we're really looking for any venture capital or sort of mm. angel involvement so that we can push the company out and actually really continue on with some of the wins that we've been getting, particularly right. with the, the Rewind app um, mm. at the moment. Yeah, that's great to hear. Well, good luck with it, Andrew, and good luck with Zafra. Not a problem at all. Thank you, Paul. Really appreciate okay. the opportunity. Thank you very much. Great, thank you. And thank you for joining Decoding the New Economy.